This video is powered by Canada Dry. What is going on guys, it's me Andrew here and you guys can tell that I am back on Windows 7 because I did get sick and tired of Windows 8. I mean, if you don't, if you understand, if you want to know why, um, go watch my video. I think the annotation should be on the screen right now about whether Windows 8 is bad or good for PC gaming. Uh, it's my opinion, so don't, don't get angry at anything that I say. But anyways, that's not what we're here for. We're here to, um, for the Razer Game Booster review slash how it works and how to make your games much faster or optimize your computer um, to run your games better. Uh, now, you have to know that but pretty much what a Game Booster does is that it, it closes down all unnecessary processes um, that Windows uses and um, it also frees up your memory or your random access memory which is your RAM uh, so your games can rush much much faster and they have a lot of more hardware to work with so um, this program right here the link will be in the description and it is powered by IOBits Game Booster um, it's pretty much the same thing as IOBits Game Booster except the fact that it is licensed by Razer and has a couple new features that are solely different from the IO bit game booster. Um, but you guys can tell that the logo is pretty much the same thing apart from that it's green with a um, Razer game booster. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and launch it. And you are going to need an account so you guys can tell I'm currently signed into my email. Alex underscore writer. <laughs> um, it's from the Alex writer series. I'm pretty sure you've, you've never heard of it in your life. But anyways, uh, it's one of my favorite book series. Um, yeah, so once you get here, you're going to see that right now it is in beta. And I'm not sure whether this application will be free when it the beta is not out yet. But um, yeah, you're gonna hit launch. You're gonna get launcher, and then you're gonna it's automatically gonna add some of your games that you have. So that's a big, big um, feature because um, it's, it saves you time from going through your whole entire games library and selecting games. But if you do want to add other games, uh, you can just click the add button and then select the game and add it. Um, and add the game open and click open but for some reason it's not allowed me to add Super Meat Boy so I'll just go ahead and skip that but you just click it add and um, find the exe file the executable file and then click open and then you can launch the game so yeah uh, I'm gonna launch a game later on and show you guys what I mean so then you can go to diagnose and you can click the analyze button and it will diagnose your PC and see tell you all the information about your PC everything pretty much from your last logon to your drivers everything that you need to know pretty much direct X version how much memory you have your CPU everything you need to know so then you can go to tools then under tools there's a drop down menu you can hit tweaks and under tweaks, so here, this is your starting point to optimize your computer and gaming settings. So simply click um, optimize to automatically analyze your computer and get the and get the configuration. Wait, get the configuration all set up for. I'm not gonna stop reading. That. I can't. I can barely focus right now. It's like 12:29, and I'm tired as hell. Um, just because I'll study for some tests, but that's not important. Um, so yeah, you can check which ones you want. So I, my my thing is that you pretty much check everything and then click optimize and it will close down all this stuff so it says um, optimize successfully um, please reboot your computer so you have to restart your computer for this stuff to take effect and then you can um, also restore click on do um, game boosted tweaks or restore to windows default and you can import other stuff but I haven't used that feature now here's the cool part um, you can defrag your game or defragment your game and what it does is that it rearranges your game files so that it's much um, easier um, to access meaning that the games run much faster in a way that the, um, the files are read off your hard drive faster because it's it's in a more organized manner so I'm gonna go ahead and defrag free cell just hit free cell and click defrag Oops, yeah, click defrag and it will defrag the game. It shouldn't take long, but oh, I'm gonna stop it. And it says no files, uh, no fragmented files. Uh, and then under the last thing is um, the drivers. So you want to head in that. It's gonna tell you if your drivers are outdated or your drivers, you need new drivers. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And it tells me that I need new drivers. So I can just hit it and then download it. 
and then it'll take me to the site and I automatically download them um, but yeah this is pretty cool and then you can go to screencast now this is the best part of the application and I haven't got it to work perfectly 100% um, yet um, but yeah when I do I will make a video on how to use this to record your games since the story and um, perhaps you got to pay for even though you can pirate it but this is a free alternative and you might as well use it because it is really good um, so yeah if I get a a working setting that gives you no lag or minimal lag then I will upload a video on how to do it um, so yeah under here you can pretty much uh, it's the same thing as fraps or uh, DX story so it just captures uh, gameplay footage and you can hit this for settings you go into general and then you get your general settings advanced settings um, you can use hotkeys to switch between gaming mode and normal mode so if I press control alt R or no control alt B what am I saying uh, yeah I'm not gonna do that because it might close down Camtasia Studio um, so yeah you can just set hotkeys to switch to gaming mode even if you're not gaming let's say you're um, doing you're, you're rendering a video and you wanna get the best settings so now you want to render the video quicker you can also switch to gaming mode and it will free up your RAM so you don't just use this for games you can use this to make your computer faster um, what else what else what else what else can we do oh yeah hit configure this is the most important part okay when you hit let's go back press cancel when you under right beside the launch button hit configure and um, you guys can see that process is recommended to close you can select each dot exe and if you don't know what the exe does or save says um, let's say mom dot exe which is pretty much catalyst control center if you don't know what that e executable file does and you don't want to close it um, go on google and type in let's say mom dot exe and it will tell you pretty much what mom dot exe is and if it's a very important file that you need or program that you need don't check it if it's a program that you don't need you can check it so I'm gonna be un um, leaving Camtasia Studio check Camtasia recorded unchecked origin unchecked and a whole bunch of other files unchecked but you can check it and then you can also go under system services and now these are pretty much um, f services that run in the background you don't see these as programs they're just namely like background applications so yeah you can go ahead and check all the stuff that you want to close and then you can go to non Windows services like Skype and um, Creative Audio Service and a whole bunch of other stuff. And then finally, there's the others tab, and um, you can clean RAM, clear clipboard, enable game power solutions. You can also disable Explorer, which will close down your pretty much Explorer. And um, when you're done, it will restore it back to the regular desktop. But if it doesn't, you can also always press Ctrl Alt Delete Delete, go to your Start Manager and then go to file run new and then type in explorer explorer that's exploring dot exe no i spelled it wrong <laughs> man i'm tired oops i put exe explorer explorer dot exe and it will run explorer not that window but it will pretty much resume um the desktop so yeah that is about it now I'm gonna test it out with the game I'm not gonna use any of these games because they are gonna go full screen and like I said in many of my videos Camtasia does not record full screen gameplay so I'm gonna use a crappy game like it's a free sell and then it'll say game booster is boosting your computer and you guys can tell us let me show my tax manager that my performance well I have 12 gigs of RAM and it's using around um, two, two and two, three gigs. So, yeah, what it does it closes down all these processes, and yeah, now you can play free cell or solitary. Happy. Uh, but yeah, I don't want to keep this video long. I want to make it as quick and short as possible because it is getting late and I'm tired, and I have a test tomorrow, and I gotta get some rest. So, if you like this video and if it helped you out, give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe it's been me Andrew bringing you guys this video powered by Canada Dry peace